I'm Chris. Welcome to my channel. So today's project is going to be strengthening a winch roller guide. Now this is actually for my brother-in-law and he said that in his research he found out that every once in a while some of the rollers get bent because although they're fairly thick walled, um, they're hollow and uh, there was an easy way to fix it and I'm going to show you how to do that. So here's the roller guide and I've already taken the rollers off. You can see here are the central shafts. And all I had to do was loosen the snap ring here. Bring it in so you can see a little bit better. There. And here. And then the same on the other two. Pull them out. And then I got these rollers out. So if you take one of these bushings out, you'll notice it's only about three quarter inches wide and everything in between is unsupported. Now it's a decent sized wall, about an eighth of an inch, um, but the reviews said that if you have a lot of weight on the cable that's going by this way, it can actually bend um, the roller inward. And the way I'm gonna fix it is I went to the local uh, metal store and I got some inch and a quarter solid aluminum rod and that fits right in here. There we go. So what I'm going to do is I will measure the distance minus the bushing on each side, cut it to length, and then drill a hole at the diameter of this pin, which is 5 eighths, and then put the bushing back in on the other end. And then what I'll have is I'll have a solid support on the inside and that's never going to bend. Now the way that I took this bushing out is I used a extension, a socket extension, and I pushed it in here and then just held, like I angled it a little bit so it would slide and push it out. And it took me like a minute each bushing, but I just need one end open. That's pretty simple to do. So I'm going to measure five and five eighths, which is right here. And just to check it, I'm going to use the roller and hold it on each side with the bushing. And I'll make it flush on the right hand side. And then I'm not sure if that'll show up on the camera, but there's just going to be a tiny little gap. It works out to be about a sixteenth of an inch between the two bushings. So technically, this piece will be able to slide back and forth by, uh, you know, a tiny little bit, but I don't think that'll matter. So now I'm going to go cut it up and then drill the holes. So here are the four pieces that I cut up. And as you can see, it fits really nice and snugly into this roller. And it has enough room left here for the top bushing. So now I'm going to take it over to the lathe and drill the hole. Alright, so here are all the pieces, and as you can see, they got the holes on the inside, and all I need to do now is slide them in, and then cap them. And now all I need to do is put them back on the pins, set the snap rings, and I'm done. All 
All right, so here we are. The project is finished. And even though it doesn't look any different, this is now virtually indestructible. Thank you for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment. And I'll see you next time.